Hello everyone! Today, I'm going to be sharing some bikes and bicycles for Unity, for free. I had to develop something that related to bikes or bicycles in my game, so I decided to design one, and in this case, I made this one. And here you go, this is what it was doing at, at the beginning. Yay, I see that's not pretty realistic, I know. But we're going to make it do this other thing. Way better. But way better. Hmm. I was able to get it working properly in this case. As you can see, it's jumping and the front wheel suspension is working correctly. In this case, the tires are throwing some trails. That's basically the trail renderer from Unity. And both wheels work with wheel colliders. Uh, not much else. Uh, and each wheel has as well an added collider inside the transform wheel. So they actually collide with the world if you, if you crash into something. So you don't have the buggy mass of wheel colliders. At the beginning, I did what everyone does when he wants to develop something in Unity. Search in the internet. Google, please, please. But nothing happened. So then I searched in the asset store. And of course, everything was valuable. Nothing was free. So yeah, I didn't want to exchange pocket for knowledge. So I did what anyone would do in this case. Kept on digging. I felt kind of a bit lost until I found this incredible thing in GitHub. Yeah, it was a person who was sharing a video on YouTube that was talking about bike balance, and he was sharing how a motorbike should tilt and balance with the Z-axis. In this case, I just took this project, downloaded it, took a look really deep in Unity, and tried to understand the script. But what happened is that he was doing it basically with physics, and physics are quite complicated. He was doing it basically offsetting the center of gravity of the bike every time he was turning, and slightly offsetting the turning of the bike depending on how much he was leaning. There was a limit on the leaning angle, and therefore, if you lean too much, you were going to fall off the bike. Quite complicated, yeah. I decided to create a document in where I will store all the knowledge base I was gathering during this process of creation of the bicycle, so if you want to get access to it, there's a link in the description down below. Back to the video. I already had a bike that was turning left, right, up and center. Well, not quite. But at least it could accelerate, brake, turn left and right. I basically had to make the bike rotate in the z-axis so I could make the bike tilt in which direction you were turning. And that was kind of one of the most complicated moments where I just was facing the wrong way all the time. I basically had to only modify the transform.rotation.z component. So in this case, what I had to do was create a quaternion inside my script, store the ro rotational values that my bike actually had at that moment in that script before I applied the amount of leaning angle that I wanted the bike to have at that moment. Basically right now we could control the tilt with a slider, but this wasn't all. We had to make more advancements into it. We had to attach the tilting amount to the steering amount. That was all. Then, we applied two lerp functions, one in the steering amount and one in the leaning amount. In this case, we applied them in order to have control about how fast we wanted to steer in one side or the other, or how fast we wanted to lean into one side or the other. In this case, this allowed us to have a little bit more control about how the bike handled. This was crucial in order to get some arcade bike properly going, kind of physically based. From here on, I basically went on to keep the values of my bike until I felt good with how it handled. After that, I created another function in which I basically reduced the maximum amount of steering angle depending on the speed of my rigid body of my bike. This one turning out to be the key into getting the bike to handle properly at low speeds and at high speeds. I was happy, finally. As the bike was really twitchy, I had to adjust the values properly until I found something that was good. Speeds I chose were 5, 10, 15, and 20. And these values felt pretty good. Finally, I had something handling good. I haven't shown it yet, but I had to rotate the handle of my handlebars. And this is the way I did it. I don't know why, but I ended up not using the quaternion I just created right before. I ended up just using the local rotation of my handlebars and only applying the steering angle and the wire angle of my rotation of the handlebar. At least it works. 
For the finishing touch, I just added some trail renderers into the bike and animate this function in order to allow the trail renderers to get the collision of each uh, wheel collider. And there we go, we had our bike leaving some trail. I even created another function in which I added some extra downward force in the bike whenever you are going faster than 5. In this case, this function works the next way. We have a vector feed that points downwards and we basically multiply it with the speed of the bike. And if you're going higher than x velocity, this function will be applied, stopping the bike from flipping over with bumps or different weird stuff. I have to say that this works with bikes and motorbikes, so if you want to add suspension to the back wheel and more weight to it, you could do it, of course. We'll probably need to play with a little bit more with the horsepower and probably add some gear system, but this is up to you. From now on, I'm leaving it for free. Be sure to tinker with it, and play with it as much as you want. Hopefully, you enjoyed this little journey, and I can see you in my next video. Stay safe until next time.